Don Jr., he couldn't help himself. He couldn't help himself, all right? The racism, the misogyny, uh, decide, he decides to compare our former first lady, all right? Well, let's put it up uh, to a linebacker. That's what he decided to do. Um, let's put up the rookie card or the rookie that he said was in fact Michelle Obama. So Donald Trump Jr. caused an uproar. Uh, this was actually during Super Bowl Sunday when he shared a meme on social media insulting former First Lady Michelle Obama by, by likening her to a retired Pittsburgh Steelers linebacker, uh, LeVon Kirkland. Uh, the meme, which went viral among the MAGA faithful. Now remember, you got conservatives, Republicans, Trump supporters, and MAGA. That's when you have reached a cult status, okay? So the MAGA faithful uh, features a photo of the 275 pound linebacker in action during the game while taking aim at the former first lady with the caption, quote, I found this rare Michelle Obama rookie card, end quote. And MAGA goes wild. They love this fictional stuff. In the post description, John uh, Don, excuse me, Jr. wrote, just a little Super Bowl nostalgia, lol. Uh, dear fact checkers, I'm told that this was, that this is a joke. So please treat it accordingly, though I personally am not 100% sure, end quote. Uh, the meme was intended to perpetuate the bogus conspiracy theory that falsely suggests Michelle Obama is transgender or was formerly a man. The backlash was swift. Political commentator um, Aaron Rupar immediately called out Trump Jr. for, quote, insane levels of racist misogyny. While a number of voices condemned the eldest son of former President Donald Trump for showing hatred toward black women, uh, many people say vicious, disgusting, et cetera. Now, why, why did this happen? Well, they, they have to do this in order to hold the racist people in the political movement known as MAGA close to them. So you will see that if Donald Trump doesn't do something that's really racist for a while, him or his son will put out some red racist meat in order for uh, their supporters to chew on for a minute. Uh, and the irony is, you know, do you want somebody to talk about your mama like that? Hmm? Of course not. All right, why some thoughts here? It's just so old, so old and tired. They've yeah. been running this trope forever. Uh, obviously, it's part of their playbook um, to otherize the Obamas. Just the idea that the Obamas is still front of mind, you know, after you know they've been gone for eight years is absurd. It just shows the lack of political salience of their actual political messaging. And it's just ridiculous. And the idea that you would compare Michelle Obama to a linebacker is absurd. Everybody knows what you compare her to is a stallion. Because good golly, Lord have mercy, <laughs> Dr. Richie, is she a stallion? Yeah, yeah, she's all woman.